Hello ladies and gentlemen and as always thank you for watching. Uh, today we've been called by a local fire department. They are at an active fire and had one of their pumpers go down. Uh, normally we would take one of our uh, towing units. This would probably be a Western Star job, uh, but all of our towing units are out. So we're going to have to take the new truck 17 and the uh, trailer's trailer and see if we can't fit it on here without being over uh, oversized. Uh, anyway, here we go. I hate to block anybody in. Oh, yeah, they can get around me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Those lights show up good, even in the daytime. Yeah. From here, they do. Wonder which one we'd be after. It looks like Chief coming this way. If it wasn't, uh, didn't have that dead gun. Yeah, it's a nice truck. Very nice truck. Scott County Rural. It looks a lot like uh, Oran's new one too. And we were talking about you didn't like walking. <laughs> That's right. As long as it ain't a long time. I don't mind walking. Just my knee can't handle it. Yeah. Howdy, Chief. Hi, man. Which one we got? Fifty-one. Dang it, she's pointed the wrong way too. She's doing fine last night. Did fine this morning when we pulled her out. Hmm. Okay. Do we need to wait a little bit until some of these other people move out? Or what? I mean, you tell me. I hate to get in here. I mean, we can get in here, no problem. Uh, well, the fire's pretty much out and it's going to smolder for about a week. Okay. So it's just kind of... Gotcha. Uh, the urgency's gone. Okay. On all that. Well, in case somebody gets another call and they got to roll out, though, is what I was... That's not... No, they're all committed. Okay. Not, all right. We got you. The only thing that they're doing is moving water. Okay. And yeah, we saw one Cape Fire headed back out, it looked <clears> like. <throat> um, I'd really like to load it going forwards, but the way it's sitting, I guess we'll just load it from the back. I'll have to get turned around. Do you want me to see if I can get that tanker in front of us moved up? Nah, I, I'll get turned around first. It'll be easier for me to get headed around, headed back out. But, well, you don't want you don't want to load unlevel though. Yeah. You, you want that bed level whenever you. Yeah. I don't know where they're, they're not going anywhere. Yeah, they kind of got a, several tons of metal in the way. So, well, how did this occur? When you left and went up to the fire, you left the truck running. The truck was still running. I came back. You no, know, the neutral air brake pulled everything out of the trailer bin. I came back. 
you know, got the wheel chocks out, put them back yep. where they need to go. Move up to then, the fire. Yeah, I took the air brake off. Once they got done doing the air brake fully off, hit drive, we're not going to gear. Okay. And then, you know, I kept making beeping noise. I pulled the air brake in, got up, you know, check all the compartments, make sure they're all shut. Okay. And then I got back in and I tried to get it to go in gear, but we're not going gear. I shut the master off real quick, try to restart to see if that helped it reboot or whatever. And then sounds like it could be in the neutral safety maybe let, let, let's chief i'm gonna go take a look real quick well if we can up, yeah well if we can get it fired up they can drive it yeah that that was the issue it, it shut down on them that wouldn't couldn't get, to restart. couldn't get it to restart Is this the one? That's see, the, yeah, that's the, yeah. Well, I was trying to remember if this was one that had. Okay, this is the one that had the uh, brake safety on it. It would click, yes. but it wouldn't fire up. Okay. Yeah, give me just a second here. Oh, battery's about down, dead. Down. Yeah, battery's down. So the battery's brand new though. Batteries are dead. I'm okay. telling you. All right. That's that's what's going on. Batteries are dead. Yeah, right. I thought that was it, but she said the battery just replaced. Yeah, but uh they obviously weren't recharging well enough maybe the alternator went out or something right. or it had too much other electrical draw on it to keep up something of the nature anyway. yeah, the batteries are dead like the alternator probably wasn't recharging fully or something yeah uh, batteries are too weak to get it rolled over say it Apparently that can happen just like that. Because yeah, it can. Night, it was yeah. fine. This morning it was fine. It was fine on the way here. Back whenever we left the station. All right. Well, I need to find a place to turn around. Let's go make it happen. What I'm thinking is I'll slide my axles forward and I'll jack it in there real hard. Back up that way and then back down to it. Let me kick the PTO in and slide the axles up. Let me walk back here and take a look first. Ooh. Yeah, kind of a, well, the at least the ground, at least the ground solid. Yeah. Just don't let me hit that. Uh, Powerful. Well, Telephone. yeah, whatever, communications box. Um, let me roll the axles forward and get it lined up a little better. Yeah. Yep, that's what we're what we're gonna do. Do what, sir? Yeah, the only place you can turn around is right here. You can pull over my grass over here too. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you. Pull over this way. Ain't nowhere to turn around. Got our emergency lights. Some of them on. Don't have them all on, but we got some of them on. PTO on. Hydraulics kicked up. Push, push that in to release the brakes. That didn't seem like it did anything to it. Those things come all the way up to right about here. Oh, it, 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 oh man, it shortens up the turning radius. It's amazing. I'll probably straighten up and back up a little bit. Back up, pull forward, and get a better angle into there. Yeah, you actually got a good spot here. Try to stay in my mirror since we don't have our radios yet. I meant to no, grab. Here. Yep. All right, we're all the way forward, so. Okay, what I'm gonna do is hug out here. Jack it in there. Make sure it don't hit that tilty box.
This is what I was talking about on the intro video, the walk around I did of this truck where you can slide the axles forward and cut your turning radius a huge amount to allow for difficult maneuvering like this. my axles up short while I back up here I got a pretty good ways to back
for this to be a dead end road back here, there sure is a lot of traffic. moved out so we can back right up to it. Close anyway. Mm, I don't like that it's on a lean though. Maybe it'll flatten out when we get back here. it back and I'll drive under it a little bit. Uh, follow what you're saying. Alright, now bring me back. Pretty close. We'll right. still have to get our winch down to it. Yeah. Or down a little bit. Might gonna come up a little bit. Might gonna come up a little bit. 
If I could get it to fold up, it would. <laughs> so, yeah, you're right. Uh, right there at it. Yep. Uh, there we go. Got it. We went down a little deeper than what I thought. That's all right. We're good. That's a, that's a good set of tire chops. Yeah, they are. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Get the chalks down. Uh, I'll, get the, I'll get the winch tied to it. Get the chalks put up, and grab hold of yeah we get a chain doesn't have any tow hooks back here yep don't have any let me get tied we need to get tied to it first before we release the brakes What you can do, Mike, if you're smaller than I am, yep. go around one side of the axle, axle, one side of the axle, and then bring this to the center. And I'll grab a hold of that, the link. Whoo! And I'll check how much air we got. Got enough to release the brakes. That's good. All right. We got a little over 100 PSI, Mike. That's enough to get us on. Do what, bud? Chief, Chief, do you need anything out of the truck before we load?
On the new truck, yeah. Yep. Yeah. We just we just finished putting the uh, amber lights on it today. I mean, we were still tying up wires whenever Chief called. Now, take that and loop it. Don't want it on a link. I want it looped so that it'll slide with the chain. You know what I mean? And it'll find its center. All right, tell me when you're ready, bub. Come on out, and I'll snug it up. Yep, I'm just making sure it ain't gonna catch the, right. one of them uh, tie down. Yep. Let me snug it up. Hey, yes, sir. Go ahead and take the flag off, or I'll wait till y'all are done. Oh, go ahead. We're just gonna snug snug the cable up right now. Go ahead. Get on the yeah. Go right ahead. Need help? Nice man. Help holding the flag. Thank you, Ron. Got it. Appreciate you. That range is sitting out there. Thank you very much. I assume you want it folded. Might as well. I appreciate your help. Oh, no problem. That's what we're here for. There you go. Tuck her in. Thank you very much. Good to go. All right. Now grab the zip ties for you. Uh, yeah, we're gonna be we're, we're gonna be a few minutes yet. We gotta line her up, roll her up on here, and get her tied down. Don't have the blue chalks out. Yes, sir. Yeah. All right. Oh, got a twist in it. Yep. That's what we wanted right there. Yep. Hop up in her and I'll try to guide you back. No, that's why I tried to get it lined up as well as I could. Good, Mike. Coming up. Yeah, you just showed me this not too long ago. I, I intended to show you this, but not necessarily in this fashion. Not this We've already had a fire truck on here Aww. for NBC. Turn your wheel to the left if you can, Mike. You're, you're riding the right edge. Need to bring it back. All right, straighten it out, Mike. Cut it to the right just a little bit. There you go, keep it right there for now. All 
All right, straighten her up. Straighten it up if you can. I know Armstrong steering's tough. But... See, that's what you meant. What? That's what you meant by Armstrong. Armstrong steering, yeah. I thought it was a different a technique. No, the strength of your arms has to turn the steering wheel. <laughs> You're coming up good and straight back here. Turn to the right just a hair, Mike. Just a little bit. All right, straighten her back out. Straighten her out. Okay, set your brakes. Need me to grab the door? Got it? Sure. You good? Here, I got it. I got it. All right, we'll get her, get her tied down here real quick. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've got her all tied down, ready to go. Talk to the chief. We'll get her fixed back up and in service for him. Got my axle slid back, deck leveled out, loaded about, about as well as we can be on this load. So anyway, nobody injured, always best case. As always, thank you for watching and God bless. However, I may show us unloading it. So in that case, this may be uh, my first outro and I'll do a second outro. We'll see. Anyway, God bless. Okay, so we are back at the shop. Just about to get her unchained. Then I'll have Mike get up in it release the brakes and we'll just roll it off just say hold hold on to the brake well parking brakes are on right now yeah axles going forward yeah well once I get it ramped uh, ramped down you ought to be able to just coast right off of it just keep the wheel straight And then if it rolls far enough, I can back up enough to where we can shut the back gate and carry on. I'll, we'll get it. We'll get it. Okay, you ready? Going for a ride. Yes, please. Please do. Okay. It's all yours. There you go. Thankfully, it had enough air in the system. I'll leave this ramp down so we can get our chains. All right. There she sits, ladies and gentlemen. As always, thank you for watching. God bless.